Well, hey, it's uh, deer season in March. Yes, that's right. It's March 11th, 2018. And I have a fresh deer here. Um, unfortunate, we found this today while shed hunting, um, wrapped up in a fence. We believe that it got scared off a field, either by a car or a predator, got wrapped up to a fence, possibly broke her neck. I called the conservation officer, Michigan DNR conservation officer, come out and analyze the situation. She was still breathing, moving her ear a little bit and flicking her tail just a little bit. I have no idea how long she's been there. And um, it was his decision to dispatch her. And then he gave me a salvage permit uh, so I could keep the deer. Now, it's very exciting for me, uh, not just the venison, but as a growing deer manager to be able to get the age of this deer, get the weight of this deer, and also see if she has fetuses in here and age those as well. This is a very rare opportunity for me, and I could not pass it up. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to spare everybody the gross details, but I will, after I get all this done, I will uh, come back here and um, show you the results, or share the results. She weighed about 110 pounds, uh, not field dressed. I'll field dress her now, and um, we'll go from there. Also today, I found a button buck dead on the property. Now, he had been there a little while. He was still fully intact, except his tongue was decomposed and his eyes were... Well, here's a picture of it. And, um, you know, deer die. Natural causes all the time. I'm not going to assume right away that it is disease or not. Um, we More than likely, we can test these heads. and not, I don't know about that button buck because he's been there for a little while. But with this one, uh, the officer dispatched it, and we cannot get this one tested at right now. We're not in the CWD zone. I am about two counties away, so there's no really threat of it right now. Um, after we get it skinned and stuff, we'll see. Maybe, maybe there's an indication of it got stuck in the fence or broke its neck or something. Okay, well, I'm back with this, uh, getting this dough taken care of, and um, got a lot of good information. She was two and a half years old. Um, she weighed 80 pounds after field dressing. Um, she had two fetuses in her. One was a male, one was a female. Um, I measured them on my scale. I'll show you a picture of them right here. And this is a fetus scale that <clears throat> indicates their age uh, and days. And then you can back it up off the date that it, she died, which is today, and about see when she was conceived or when the babies were uh, conceived. So I had um, that they were about 115 days old, and I backed the calendar up. So they were um, conceived on or about November 15th, November 17th, somewhere in there. Um, one thing I did notice was curious was uh, the female fetus umbilical cord was not attached um, and the males was. I don't know if that's any indication or um, maybe from kicking around um, getting caught in that fence or something. You know, there's no way to tell that. And, um, and so that's a lot of good information. I also did notice that she didn't have a lot of fat on her. She's not very big for two and a half, but that's not to say anything. She's bought on, on pace for a few does that I've shot around here about the same weight, but she did not have a lot of fat on her, and we haven't had a real tough winter. There was about a month of January or so that it was really, really cold, but we've had some warm days as of late, little snow right now. Um, you know, again, she seems like she's in good shape, but, you know, they don't hold a lot of fat anyway, but you know, we have a lot of deer around here. Um, we do have a lot of food, uh, fortunately, but I think our deer numbers are, are... The neighbors like the deer numbers. I, I think we could be a little less, but there's a lot of good information for you. And, you know, I, I know that seems pretty cruel, 
Well, there's a lot of good scientific information that you can use in the management of your property going forward. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is this is a trophy to me. This is a trophy. I didn't even shoot it. Antlers, look, I get excited over big antlers. I get shake, shook up just as much as the next guy. You know, even non-hunters get shook up and they are in awe of big antlers. That is just something that happens. But as a deer manager, I get excited about the ages of deer, their weights, and biology information on it. So, hey, <clears throat> you need any help doing any of this stuff, I would be more than happy to try to help you. Thanks for watching Complete Deer TV. Ran a little long, got a little winded, but uh, God bless. And hey, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. I need to get a 1,000 subscribers. Till next time.